What's going on guys? It's Ayato666 here. Bought a new game, a well, new series, and I wanted to start it. A well lit room. I'm not doing well lit, I'm in a dark room. Maybe I should do well lit. Eh. Fuck it. Anyway, I found out about this. It's called Life is Strange. Completely brand new to it. I wanted to experience it together because I really like the idea of just kind of reflecting on life and kicking back. And I mean, look at the unique art style. Let's check this baby out. All right, here we go, guys. Additional content. All right, what do we got? Settings. Sorry, I just got to real quick set everything up. Wait. Okay, cool. Subtitles are on. All right, we're good to go then. I had one save game. Is it going to start me right off where I was? Because I might need to restart. Yeah, we'll restart. Looks like it was kind of... Oh, okay. We'll start at the nightmare. As you can see, I did not get far. Here we go. Warning, you will lose all progress. Yeah, I, I can live with the five minutes of lost time. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. I like that they gave me enough time, thank you, to read that. Jesus Christ. Epic. All right, let's do this. Wonder what even brought on the stream. Oh, you know what? Can I pause? All right, cool. It's kind of important to know. Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? It looks like a tub Wait, of grease is on her hair. I'll be safe if I can make it there. All right, let's go. I hope. Please let me make it there. Go. Is there any reason to look around? Like, nope. No gameplay options yet. No button does anything. Wait. Nope. Touchpad. Nothing. No. Nothing does anything. Dude, this storm sounds awesome. All right. And try to get through this whole thing in one and just upload it all at once. That way it doesn't affect our other series. But it depends if I get stuck. That is amazing. I love that, dude. There's a bench just sitting there to <laughs> so you can sit there and appreciate the tornado. I mean, obviously that's not why the bench was built. But <laughs> right now it's like, oh, have a seat. Enjoy the tornado. That's like an F4 and F5, too. Holy shit. Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film, Little Pieces of Time. Yes. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. <laughs> now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. Look. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? What the fuck is that? I That's can just... hear the class laughing at me now. Wow. Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big co coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, Kate... Oh, soon. Kate Let Me Borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him. Which caused Warren to almost revoke my my geek car geek cred before I helped held up my copy of the Battle Royale, but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. 
I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party. Or is that a backstroke fest? You're so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy, as my parents love telling me on a loop. You have all the time in the world. It's a weird one. What's all this? Oh, wow. Shit. Am I meant to read all of this? How much is the? Oh, my God. So there's October... One, two. I'm going to end it, and when I end it, I'll read it. And let you guys know if it's anything good. It'd be stupid to read all of that. Holy crap. All the people I've met. Okay. Wow, so I also have this to read. Shit. Well, let's just play. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I, I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. I lied. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I lied. I'm reading it. You don't like it? Skip the part two. I wanna, I wanna get into this. What is all this shit? What are going here? What? What is all this? Isn't that too easy? No, I didn't mean to X if the whole thing. I thought it X this, that. What would they think? How do I do? Okay, it's like a July 10th, 2013. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. Why didn't it start here? This is weird. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares? Because I got into Blackwell Academy, a unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I'd be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town, but when I saw. The text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy. And this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell, which means new clothes and if I can work at a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. August 18th. So, this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest back in a town when I was excited about leaving. I was excited about leaving. Oh dear, that fucking <laughs> thing on the right fucked me up. Maybe I want to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with me to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Oh contraire. Oh contraire. Oh contraire. I don't even know. Now Blackwell Academy seems ex more exotic to me than any other place in the world to study pho pho photography under Mark Jefferson. Inserts hearts and flowers, plus there will be diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Oh my god, how much more is there? Are you fucking shitting me? I lied. Too obvious? It's too girly for what me. I'm not reading chose it. chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. Take a selfie. But she had a brilliant eye. So, <laughs> she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. You goddamn right. A dumb right. word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Okay. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know? 
What? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. You Louis are a bitch. Totally I don't like her. Zone. Sad face. Sad face? Are you fucking Victoria. kidding me? The Victoria, you bitch. Brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular First stab from the with pencil. Onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Eh, fuck it. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Just, I'm just skimming it real quick. Shit, it's crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack. And okay. Doesn't seem like too much backstory, really. But I'm also lazy. God damn. There is a good bit of backstory there, though. Oh, she's a musician too. Nice. All right. I just wanted a little bit of backstory. Sorry. You can all right, find let's out continue. all about him in your textbook, or even online. Good, let's get the fuck out of here. Guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great fuck exposure off. Bell and a career don't care in photography. Anymore. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. All girl photog photography class. Where the hell is this school? They're like all fucking dudes in my school. What the hell is this shit? Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. It's not the ass that she's trying to kiss there, Max. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Huh. What else? Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Who's Kate? Look at her. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Why? Hey, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Wow. Why would I have embarrassed her? No, okay. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. What the shit? Oh, I found this last time. You look at it. Huh. You take a photo show. and you'll get a trophy. I don't know what they are yet. Like it says Rachel and Amber forever, but then you watch it and it no longer says that. Wait, well, let me see. Of course, it's going to make a fucking liar out of him. Whatever. I must have been really tired. It really looked like it just wasn't an actual word to me before, but obviously it was. Shut up. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries. <laughs> <than this laughs> no bad boy. name brand. You bastards. Alright, look at it. What is it? Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. How old are you supposed to be? Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Hey, there's you the lighthouse. You never escape the lighthouse here. Yeah, I know. I just tried. All right, Every slut. time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Stab her. Stab her with a pencil. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. True. 
Wait, what?